Hey guys, what is going on? It is Josh Norton 22. I was supposed to, I wasn't supposed to be back until Thursday, but we ended up not going, so I'm here today. I'm gonna be making videos all this week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, so first things first, we got this ESPN vote. So you get a collectible upon logging in. If you haven't got it, just back out, and you should have it once you log back in. So for those who don't have the collectible, just try that. And uh, you basically vote for who you think is gonna win this ESPN vote on who has the best ultimate team. I gotta admit, I kind of like Rob Gronkowski's team with the uh, with the Bo Jackson and stuff like that. So I might uh, end up trying to vote for him. But what I, what I'll probably end up doing is uh, actually paying attention to who's winning the vote and then probably vote for that because I think we can add the collectible anytime up until March 6th. So uh, whoever's winning that vote, I'll probably just vote for them on the last day. I think um, if you basically, I think if you uh, whoever you vote for if their team wins you get a bonus player from that team You also get solo challenges to where you get extra votes So correct me if I'm wrong below in the comments section but I'm pretty sure that if uh, if your person wins this then you get a player from their team uh, I guess that's how that's gonna work. So that sounds pretty cool That seems like a good way to make some coins So make sure you're trying to do that and then in the position heroes We now have the kicker and the punter and the right tackle so taking a look at this uh, I already have a right tackle that's 99 overall, but uh, I might try to do it and just basically sell the player. I do have a lot of these players, as you can see. I was saving up a lot of my right tackles, so I do have a lot of them. So I might end up doing it and just selling the right tackle that I get from it. Um, once I compare it to Dan Deardorff, it's, if it's not better than Deardorff, I'll probably end up selling it. And then over here, we have the kicker and punter, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm definitely going to try to do this one. Uh, I don't think I have too many of these like I know I have a couple of them but uh, I know a lot of, a couple of these go for a lot too but I'm gonna try to do this I really want a 99 kicker and punter uh, just so I can have it that'll make my team overall higher so I do have a, quite a bit of these more than I thought I would have so I'm gonna try to do those later uh, but we're gonna go over here to the auction block and take a look see if anybody has these done yet uh, first things first, we'll look at the solo challenges, see if they have the uh, the vote solo challenges yet. They should have updated the weekly solo challenges. Alright, so in the weekly we have, you know, the position hero solo challenge. And then, uh, I thought they might update the community challenges, but I don't think they update those until Tuesday actually. But I don't see the vote solo challenge in there, but there is the uh, solo challenge for the uh, right tackle and the kicker and punter. Alright. Now we're going to back out and we're going to head over here to the auction block and compare some of these uh, some of these cards here. So go auction block, 95 to 99, right tackle, and we'll see um, if he's better than my right tackle, which I don't think he is, but we'll see. Oh, I hit right in. It like jumped right over right tackle when I tried to go to right tackle. A Deacon Jones is actually pretty cheap. I just saw a pretty cheap one right there. So his price is already pretty far down this uh, this Wagner. So I mean, this one just got put up at 258 or 254, which is 15k cheaper than the next one. So 95 strength, 80 speed. That's pretty good for a right tackle. 94 pass block, 98 run block. So we're gonna compare this to my Dan Deardorff that I have. Um, Deardorff basically beats him in every stat but speed and agility and awareness and Deardorff has 99 strength so I'll probably stay with my Deardorff but like I said I might end up doing this and uh, just to sell the card so <clears throat> but that, that Ricky Wagner is pretty good all in all overall I, I do like that he has some good speed to help with the, uh, the edge rushers because I know a lot of times uh, when I used to play and I didn't have that good of a right tackle that had any speed, like they would just blow right by my right tackle and sack me all the time. So, I mean, that is a pretty good card and you can get it for pretty cheap, cheaper than a Dan Deardorff. So, for those out there who have like 250k to spend, I'd say spend it. As you can see, he's he's not too much worse than the Deardorff and he's going for a, a good bit less. So, pretty good right tackle to pick up for your team. Alright, so now we're going to go over here to the kicker and punter. <clears throat> So there's uh there's one kicker up this Sebastian Janikowski right here, a hundred kick power, seventy five speed, ninety eight kick accuracy. So 
basically the best kicker in the game that dropped the price on the Justin Tucker a little bit as you can see the Justin Tucker's only like 285 now so that J that Janikowski is really good though 100 kick power I really want this card gonna definitely try to get that later I'll probably sell my Blanda and just try to get that so we head over here to punter now and we'll look at this punter and it's Johnny Hecker right here 97 kick power 100 kick accuracy we'll compare him to my um, my Brett Kern I have here so he's gonna beat him in every stat and he actually has really good throw power too like 64 I mean that's not really good but for a punter that's pretty good so that's basically all the positional collections for the day guys uh, hopefully you got out there do some of these try to get some of those snipes try to snipe these you know, always be on the lookout for those, especially when something new comes into the game. Always be on the lookout for the snipes. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't really compare the sea bass, but we're gonna we're gonna compare him right now. So, I mean, he beats my George Blanda and everything, but throw power and throw accuracy. All right, so that's everything for today, guys. Like I said, uh, ended up not going to the field. So you guys are going to see videos uploaded from me every day of the week um, that I can upload. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Going to get off here and try to do some of these positional collections, try to sell them. But guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. And uh, also subscribe if you're new to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And th guys, that's it for today's video. And until the next video, peace.